What's going on, guys? We're going to watch the trailer for Peacemaker today. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? We're invisible. You can't see us. That was a stupid bit. We could have just done that. And John Cena. Saved us a whole bunch of time. Ooh. Guys, we're gonna watch the official trailer for Peacemaker. I hope this is visible. We didn't cover the last one because HBO Max has this incredible habit of blocking us on mobile. But we're gonna give this one a shot because we're genuinely interested in the show and we're hoping to have time to cover it uh, come January. So I loved The Suicide Squad and John Cena impressed the hell out of both of us with that film. Let's see what they got today. Have you ever heard of a guy named Peacemaker? No. He is a trained killer. We've got trouble with that maniac. <laughs> Go! What are you waiting for? <laughs> that thing better not crap back there. Yeah, how strain an eagle, dude. Not without stealing its soul. Those <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Look, they got real hey, eagle. Dad. It's a kind of rough go for me lately, Dad. You don't say. Somebody shot me and the building fell on me. You let somebody shoot you? <laughs> I invited him to come shoot me, Dad. <laughs> you let somebody shoot you? I thought you were in prison for life. I work for the government. Post office? Did you think you let a prison to deliver mail? I don't know. It's the first government job I could think of. I kill people for him, okay? This task force doesn't officially exist, which leaves us on our own. We call our targets butterflies. They are a serious threat to the safety of American citizens. Whoa! There's something weird going on. You think me and Vigilante are too stupid to notice. Hey, everyone, which one's me and which one's Eagly? <laughs> yeah, you're half right. But you score 50% of the test at school. What do you get? A D. Uh, <laughs> it's my bag. It's for dorks. <laughs> that guy's a clown. Uh, There's awesome. something about him that's sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Peacemaker, take him out. Even the kids? Yes, terminate him immediately. Take the shot! <laughs> he told me to kill kids. He didn't say why. Because right now the world needs a son of a bitch. And you're the only one I got. But will it bring peace? <laughs> Not to I his thought heart. I you loved peace no matter how many men, women, and children you needed to kill to get it. He did say that. Yeah. It was one of the most famous lines from the last trailer. And you're having feelings about things. Ooh. Dad, maybe I'm a grower. Not a shower. What? An individual you don't like, and then you learn to like. You're comparing yourself to a chode. Not in a bad way. Your dad <laughs> is not a good man. He's still family. My advice? Cut it out with the introspection. The mind is a den of scorpions better left running from, not towards. <laughs> <laughs> just got shut it! You haven't been shut it! Oh. Underwear yes. fight? Gotta. Two jerks in costumes and a couple of rejects. Woo! Rejects? It's like a real team out there. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is that? It's a grenade I tied to a Russian tank shell. Why not just the grenade? A grenade blows up like two people. How many people does this blow up? <laughs> I don't know. I invented it this morning. What? Oh. Eat peace, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I like the updated mask a lot. Yeah. The red eyes. Red glasses. Yeah. Not the eyes, but the, the like the the the, uh, yeah, the, the, the window to the, the goggles. Eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's the word. <laughs> it's the Snyderverse. Everybody's gotta have goggles or offshoots of the Snyderverse. You know what I mean. Don't trigger people. I'm but, sorry, like guys. Me. I didn't mean it. It's the James Gunniverse now. Now it is. I like the approach that this show is taking with being able to like break down, evolve Peacemaker for where he saw saw him in the Suicide Squad movie. I find it to be a very interesting choice overall of how this project came to be. This was announced before the Suicide Squad even got released. And so that just showed the amount of faith they had in this character and the future of this project. I don't know the last time, uh, have we seen something like this that I'm not just recalling where a movie comes out and then a few months later, a show 
that is a spinoff of one of the characters in that ensemble gets released like so <laughs> soon after. I don't, I don't I don't know the last time we saw something that like that. That absolutely feels like something very much of this moment in movie yeah. and television history for sure. Because they're doing that with the Batman coming up uh -huh. where there's going to be spinoffs of that that are supposed to be HBO Max shows as well. So this is like a, a new kind of plan that they're doing. Like, yeah, do we have like Marvel where the shows are connected? It's like this is a completely different terrain where this character is introduced in a movie. Main supporting character and now has their own show so soon after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's almost like you're starting the Suicide Squad universe <laughs> right now. It's a great continuation of it where there was such a major conflict that came into hand with Peacemaker in that movie to then take his character, start to really humanize him to the point where you start to deconstruct just why he has the personality that he has. I love, like, the stuff that interested me the most was actually not the missions and everything. Like, I'm sure that's all going to be fun. It's going to feel very James Gunn-esque and it's going to be a lot of what we sort of got from the Suicide Squad ensemble bantering ah you sound kind of stupid there's cool action it's violent it's rollicking <laughs> like yeah that, there'll be that, plenty that, of dick <laughs> jokes yeah that all seems familiar it's gonna be really entertaining and the show needs to have that and i want that in there the new stuff that we were getting was mainly in terms of humanizing him and uh, you know asking the question of how much does this guy actually repress like we laugh at him quite a bit but now let's really go into his soul and see what's going on underneath the surface and like explore his relationship with his father. This is why he is the way he is and probably a lot of this seems to be directed towards I want to satisfy daddy. And I love that we're gonna, it really seems like we're gonna be dealing with that a lot and it's gonna be the emotional through line throughout this series. And it's not just something they're touching on, it's something they're really going to explore. You don't get Robert Patrick just to touch on that. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. And I, that was, the, yeah, the most probably exciting thing to me about this trailer is just the prospect of, you know, John Cena and Robert Patrick acting off each other and what that relationship can become. Because, you know, I trust James Gunn's sensibility enough to know that, yeah, like we're gonna get a lot of like the fun and enjoyable stuff that you probably would expect mm. from that dynamic, but we're also probably going to get a lot of things that are surprisingly true or heart felt or you know emotionally hard or raw in some way it's like taking all the main beats of peacemaker with the whole crack in the uh you know early scenes of suicide squad about how like oh you know your origin story is just like uh blood sports origin story you know you both had this hard ass dad mm -hmm. and now going in to deconstruct that and then also take the main conflict coming from peacemaker and the suicide squad and turning that inward a very poignant kind of way to approach this that seems to support the natural way that james Gunn has at least said he kind of came up with this idea. And so, yeah, I felt that enthusiasm watching this trailer, and I am always rooting for John Cena's acting to get that much better, and it seems it like, great yeah, he could probably great. be pretty great here. And then also, too, I like the ensemble in Suicide Squad, so I'm happy to see them back, and that also grounds it in, like, it still looks like it's gonna get kind of big and kind of broad, but you feel yeah. like, yeah, we've got this small team, and we're doing these down and dirty missions, and we're kind of on the run, not necessarily because we're working for the government, but, you you know, we gotta keep this like clandestine in a way, you know, at least the core of our operation. And so, yeah, it just seems like this is the right size and I'm really interested to see how it all plays out. I'm sure it's gonna be a damn fine show. This seems like the kind of show where it has so many different emotions to deal with like a James Gunn mm -hmm. property ultimately is. That it's gonna have a lot of heart, it's gonna be really funny, probably irreverent, but also it's gonna be able to really get you in the feels in unexpected ways, but also excite you and shock you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his chemistry with Vigilante looks really fun. And I mean, that's a, you know, a kind of, you know, it's a well-worn gag of like the guy with this awesome costume who has kind of a dorky voice, but I don't know, like I'm, I'm really excited to see how, how that kind of comes to life too, because from the moments we got here, like that's the character I'm most excited to meet. Now. He looks like a scene stealer. Yeah. And this sure. has easily been John Cena's best role he's ever done. 100%. <laughs> so I'm excited to see it explored in the show. All right, guys, we'll leave your thoughts down below. You can subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button, and hey. <laughs> Fox, Fox, you're the biggest badass at our Patreon, so I figured we should shout you out with the biggest badass currently coming from the DC universe. I feel like, you know, if I wanted to get Jack, you could probably help me achieve that, but you would also do it with your signature style and flair because you, much like a James Gunn movie, are thoughtful, but you also know how to get a good jab in. You've got a good sense of wit, and I very much admire that about you, and it warms 
my heart and soul every time you pop up in one of our comments just to leave one of your rambles. Believe me, I see them and I love them. So I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good holiday season. And uh, even though we can't see you, we're thinking about you. Much love. You know, I've only seen you do this on camera. I've never once ever you're just not looking hard enough seeing you do it in real life every time you turn your back <laughs> <I'm just> here <laughs>